Okay guys, so I'm going to do um, a little proof of one of the co-function identities right now. <clears throat> so, if you guys remember, we knew that cosine of pi over 2 minus x equals sine x. That was one of your identities um, that you were taught last section. So now I'm going to prove this, okay? So we learned another identity. We learned a cosine of a difference identity, which basically said that the cosine of u minus v equals the cosine of u times the cosine of v plus the sine of u times the sine of v. Okay? So now I'm going to use this identity to prove this one. Okay? So if I pretend instead of u and v I'm using um, pi over 2 and x, let's see what happens. Okay? So we're going to rewrite this as the cosine of u, which is pi over 2, times the cosine of v, which in this case is x, plus, now remember with this difference identity that the sine changes, so it's the cosines together and then the sines together and it's plus. If this is minus, this is plus, and likewise if this is plus, this is minus, okay? So now we're going to move on to sine, so sine of pi over 2 times sine of x. Okay? Now, you guys probably have these memorized, the cosine of pi over 2 and the sine of pi over 2, okay? But just in case you need a little refresher, remember pi over 2 is 90 degrees, okay? So if we draw our unit circle and we go pi over 2 radians, which is 90 degrees, we end up up here, okay? At this point right here. And we know the coordinates of this point are cosine of pi over 2, comma sine of pi over 2, okay? which in this case, this point literally is 0, 1, okay? Which means that the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and the sine of pi over 2 is 1. So we're going to plug that in here. So cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so 0 times the cosine of x plus sine of pi over 2 was 1, 1 times the sine of x, okay? Clearly, Zero times anything is zero, so that goes away, and we're left with one times sine of x, one times anything is whatever the anything was, so sine x, so it equals sine x, right? Which is what we were trying to prove. Okay? There you go. Okay, guys. So now we're going to try to prove, oops move this down a little bit so we focus on the board here. Okay, so now we're going to try to prove this co-function identity, okay? So as we know, there's an identity for the sign of a difference. So let's write that identity down because that's the identity that's going to help us prove this identity right here. So that's going to be the sine of u minus v, okay, equals the sine of u times the cosine of v minus the cosine of u times the sine of v, okay? So now we're just going to apply this identity to this. We're going to put in a little substitution here. So now it's going to be the sine of u, which in this case is pi over 2, times the cosine of v, which in this case is x, minus the cosine of u, cosine of pi over 2, times the sine of v, which is x. Okay, so then from our unit circle that I showed you in the last example, and I'll just do it quickly, not getting into it as much as I did in the last example, it's this point right here, which is 0, 1, which means the cosine is 0 and the sine is 1, okay? So let's just sub it in. So sine of pi over 2 is 1 times cosine of x minus um, cosine of pi over 2, which is 0 times sine of x. So clearly, anything times 0 goes away. And 1 times cosine of x is just simply cosine of x. There we go. And that is what we were trying to prove. So we did.